This video looks at two key trig equations where we don't have a calculator using some key values that you need to memorise. In the first example, we're asked to find a length x, which is opposite a given angle. And we know a side angle side, or SAS. And there's a key rule we use to find missing sides when we know side angle side in any given triangle. And this is called the cosine rule, which tells us that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two lots of b, c, cos, a. Where a is the side you want to find, b and c are the other two sides in any order, and big A is the angle we're given. So I need to substitute in the values to this equation. So x squared, the side I want, is b squared, which is 25, c squared, which equals 9, take away two lots of b times c times cos of the angle. Now to solve this, we must do the calculations in a certain order. I can simplify the 25 and the 9 to give me a 34. But this is one big term. And this is 2 times 5 times 3, 2 times 10 times 3 is 30. And we've got this cos 60. Now, if you put this into your calculator, we get a key value, which you need to know for your new examinations. And cos 60 is the same as a half. So this becomes 30 lots of a half, which is just 15. So we have 34, take away 15, which just equals to 19. So if x squared equals 19, to find x, I just need to find the square root of 19, which I can leave as a third. So again, the cosine rule is used to find an opposite side if we know two sides and the enclosed angle. And in this case, because we knew the value of cos 60 to be a half, we could finish off the question to get down to a final answer, which in this case was a third. The second problem also involves this side angle side, or SAS, but it asks for the area. There's a comparable formula to find the area of a triangle given these measurements. And this is the area equals a half AB sine C. The letters we have chosen are fairly arbitrary. Here we had A, B and C. In this formula, the A and B are the two known sides, and C is the angle. So we have to work out a half, lots of A, lots of B, lots of sine, the angle, which in this case is 30. And again, this now requires us to know the value of sine 30. Again, it's a key value to learn, which actually equals a half. And to evaluate this, a half times 10 times 4 times a half, I personally write down the integers as over 1. That's think it's easier. Then I times the tops, 1 times 10 times 4 times 1 is 40. 2 times 1 times 1 times 2 is 4. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. The area is 10 units squared of that triangle. And again, all we do is we do a half, lots of the two sides times together, times by sine, in this case, of the enclosed angle. 